arrogance. This week I found arrogance in my life, and it, it surprised me quite a bit. My neighbor asked me if he could borrow my battery charger, and I said, sure. Uh, my neighbors are, it's the house of all excitement. There's always dogs barking all night long. There's always people coming and going, often screaming and fighting. And, and, uh, but I'm always, I'm always willing to be friends with my neighbors. So I loaned him my charger and he was charging up the battery for his mobile home, which he had parked in the driveway next door. And I just let him have it, and I went about my business, and every once in a while I'd stop by to see how his battery was charging, and he would say to me, I don't know if I can let go of this charger. <laughs> and so he sort of triggered me a little bit. I'm not one that usually loans out tools because I make my living with tools, and people don't often return them. So... I got quite triggered after he had he said that thing and he may have just been doing it to tease me but I found that almost you know 80% of my mind was spent thinking about whether I would get my charger back until you know for about 3 days and I still hadn't gotten it back and and then I realized that I was triggered and I really needed to be in love because without being in love, there was no solution to this. No, no amenable solution, at least. It would always create hard feelings. And so I, I just returned to love, which was very challenging after three days of thinking about it. And, uh, and as, as I started returning to love, as I'm walking around my house, I'm seeing all these tools that I borrowed from work, that I borrowed from friends, and uh, I'd had them for quite a while without returning them, and so I filled my truck with all the tools I need to return, and, uh, and I just... I let go of my resistance to losing my charger. I, I'm, I lost my attachment to it and uh, just went about my business getting stuff done instead of thinking about the charger. And then a week later, uh, the, the man came over and he says, oh, I'm sorry for keeping your charger for so long. But here it is, and thank you for using it. Do you have a compressor I can borrow to fill up my tires? And I said, sure, right over there. And uh, so anyway, arrogance shows up in a lot of ways, and not noticing my own holding of people's tools, and and uh, but noticing their holding my tools, and returning to love, which was the only solution. So that's arrogance discovered in my own life.